Chapter 42 of Women of History This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Women of History by Anonymous Chapter 42 Nur Mahal 1512 James Mill one of the circumstances which had the greatest influence on the events and character of the reign of Jehangir was his marriage with the wife of one of the Umrahs of his empire, whose assassination, like that of Uriah, cleared the way for the gratification of the monarch. The history of this female is dressed in romantic colors by the writers of the East. Khaja Ayas, her father, was a Tartar who left poverty in his native country to seek the gifts of fortune in Hindustan. The inadequate provision he could make for so great a journey failed him before its conclusion. To add to his trials, his wife, advanced in pregnancy, was seized with the pains of labor in the desert and delivered of a daughter. All hope of conducting the child alive to any place of relief forsook the exhausted parents, and they agreed to leave her. So long as the tree at the foot of which the infant had been deposited remained in view, the mother supported her resolution. But when the tree vanished from sight, she sank upon the ground and refused to proceed without her. The father returned, but what he beheld was a huge black snake convolved about the body of the infant, and extending his dreadful jaws to devour her. A shriek of anguish burst from the father's breast, and the snake, being alarmed, hastily unwound himself from the body of the infant, and glided away to his retreat. The miracle animated the parents to maintain the struggle, and before their strength entirely failed, they were joined by other travellers who relieved their necessities. Ayas, having arrived in Hindustan, was taken into the service of an Umrah of the court, attracted after a time the notice of Akbar himself, and by his abilities and prudence rose to be treasurer of the empire. The infant who had been so nearly lost in the desert was now grown a woman of exquisite beauty, and by the attention of Ayas to her education, was accomplished beyond the measure of female attainments in the east. She was seen by Sultan Selim, and kindled in his bosom the fire of love. But she was betrothed to a Turkman Umrah, and Akbar forbade the contract to be infringed. When Selim mounted the throne, justice and shame were a slight protection to the man whose life was a bar to the enjoyments of the king. By some caprice, however, not unnatural to minds pampered and trained up like his, he abstained from seeing her for some years after she was placed in his seraglio, and even refused an adequate appointment for her maintenance. She turned her faculties to account, employed herself in the exquisite works of the needle and painting, in which she excelled, and her productions were disposed of in the shops and markets, and thence procured the means of adorning her apartments with all the elegancies which suited her condition and taste. The fame of her productions reached the ear and excited the curiosity of the emperor. A visit was all that was wanting to rekindle the flame in his heart and Nur Mahal, such was the name she assumed, exercised from that moment an unbounded sway over the prince and his empire. Through the influence of the favorite sultana, the vizirit was bestowed on her father. Her two brothers were raised to the first rank of Umras by the titles of Aitabad Khan and Asofaja. But their modesties and virtues reconciled all men to their sudden elevation and though the emperor, naturally voluptuous, was now withdrawn from business by the charms of his wife, the affairs of the empire were conducted with vigilance, prudence, and success, and the administration of Khaja Ayas was long remembered in India as a period of justice and prosperity. End of chapter 42